I'm here with Moxie. It's good to see you. You too. You are so adorable oh, and so talented. Thank you so we're much. We're watching your rehearsal. Girl, how long have you been dancing for? Mm, since I could walk. I was really young. I started dance classes when I was about two or three. Then I was doing competitions around the country by the time I was six. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been doing it a long time. Before you were singing or sort of at the same time? Same time. I came yeah. out singing and dancing, my mom said. You did? Like, I would just be beg kicking anyone. and la. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just beg anyone to watch me perform. So you're here rehearsing today. Mm -hmm. you are, you're releasing a series of videos, yes. dance videos. Mm -hmm. Give me sort of like, just, just sort of the vibe of like coming here and being able to, I mean this is such a cool space. It's and amazing. it's nice to sort of be able to see sort of the process of what goes on behind the scenes. There's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, um, but it's so fun for me. Like I love it. Just every part about it. Driving here, getting here, spending the day here. I love everyone I work with, so it's really kind of a pleasure. I know you moved to LA mm -hmm. when you were pretty young, and you moved in with six guys? Six guys. How did that go? Yeah. It was scary and amazing. <laughs> so you no, guys, it was, it was awesome. like a writing group of We people. had kind yeah. of known each other, but not, not really well. We're just kind of acquaintances. We were all just signed to this company called The Brain. And the founder of it, Freddie Wexler, wanted to put this group of people together as like a social experiment, kind of. Put them in a house you and see. You were a social experiment? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little hamsters just <laughs> on the guitar and the keyboard. Um, and just see like what would happen when he created like a really perfect, almost creative atmosphere. So it's just people living together, instruments everywhere, studio set up. It was amazing. Those guys are my brothers, best friends for life. I got some whiskey at the house, changing the couch, oh. So let's talk about the music that you have coming out, Reckless Passionate Youth. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you're a songwriter. I mean, you, a lot of artists these days, they don't write their own stuff. I, I love covering songs when it's meant to be a cover, um, but when it's for my own music, I really, really only like to sing stuff that I've written because I'm not a good actor, so I'm not good at faking emotion. Well, it seems like you're a storyteller, like in a lot of your songs, you're a storyteller. Nice. Buffalo Bill, all... was that the experience of living with the, exactly. the guys? That was experience. That was the, we used to have these kind of parties, um, and they weren't like usual parties that you would think a bunch of 20 year olds would throw. We would basically have like creative parties. So we'd like even like sit in a circle and tell stories and like write poetry, and we always used to talk about this creative high because you would just feel like oh my god this is so awesome and there it wasn't a, no one was on drugs but it was this perfect high feeling and we just started to call it Buffalo Bill. I saw the lyric video. Yeah. Was sexy. Thank you. You know that's not me, right? Everyone thinks it's me. I thought it was you. No, it's not me. You have a sick body in the oh, girl thank the you. Like, I don't have that sick of a body. It's my two friends, and we just wanted to, to you Are know. Are they really a couple? They're not. What? No, they're great actors. They should be. <laughs> no, they had a lot they're of really good actors, they need to be a couple. Right, exactly. I saw a couple of cute things on your Twitter. One was that uh -huh. you, you were, and this is so ironic, that you ran out of gas. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday while listening to, but your song was on the radio? So <clears throat> my my tank wasn't even at empty. Like it didn't, usually I can go like past empty like 20 minutes at least, I, that, you know? I think that's another girl thing. I do that too. All the time. I kind of like, I, I feel the sputter. I'm like, oh, is this where yeah, it runs too. out of gas? Is this so where it runs it, out of gas? It, it was doing that in the middle of sunset. And like, there were, it was like rush hour, but there happened to be like space right there. And I was like, I better pull over because it was like not going. So I called my friend. He took like an hour to get to me with the gas. I'm just sitting in my car and I realized that the, the morning, that morning, yesterday morning, I had filmed a radio interview and it was the first time anything of mine had ever been on a radio, first time I'd ever done a radio interview, anything. So it was like, oh my God, it's seven o'clock, exactly, like I should turn it on. And so for the whole like 45 minutes I was waiting, I listened and I was like, God wanted me to just take a minute and be like, 
you're, you're getting there, you know? Like, you wanted me to soak it in, and I wouldn't have even listened if I was, like, still driving. Who inspires you growing up? Because I know you listen to, like, I think you're, you said your family. I've read something yeah. about your family. Um, you moved into a, a, an apartment in, or a place in New York, and it just happened to have a piano. That's fate, oh, I think. Oh, when I was in second grade, we moved into a new house that had a piano. Yeah, and, and that's when I started playing. Somebody left it behind. Somebody left it. Yeah, that's when I started playing piano. But my parents, like, I grew up listening to music all the time. My parents liked to have a good time, and they would just play cool music. Parents. <laughs> they would play music, like, every night, like, blast Motown, have friends over. They'd have, like, dance parties. And so that's what I grew up listening to, just in the house constantly. This and is not how I grew up. I know, right? <laughs> At all. So, yeah, I just grew up re being really inspired by, like, The Temptations, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Four Tops, Jackson 5, Michael have you Jackson. Had, like, yeah. a really big... Um, moment where you've met like somebody who you really idolize. Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. how, how was that? I met him at a party and um, yeah, it's just overwhelming. Like he's everything I thought he would be and just such an amazing spirit and soul. And, and okay, so for girls that are really into your style, mm -hmm. three items they need to have in their closet. Um, Doc Martens, probably um, like a pair of really good sweatpants and a crop top and a flannel. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> I got this part down. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. It was awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Congrats on You're everything. Awesome.